In this video, we will learn how to represent numbers in 2's complement. In the previous video, we saw how 1's complement has this issue where you have two zeros and so if you want to do additions it doesn't quite work because uh, you know, if you add uh, 1 to minus 1 you get 0 but if you add uh, 1 to 0 you get 0 back okay so what we said is that one uh, simple solution is to just get all these numbers and shift them to the right by 1 right just I'll shift them all to the right by 1 and that's really what 2's complement is all about. Uh, we are going to do a lot of math, uh, simple math, but if you sort of understand this picture, you have understood everything there is about 2's complement. So uh, these uh, are the 2's complement interpretation of each of these numbers, right? each of these binary numbers. The numbers between uh, the, that start with the zero they all still have on the right hand side over there they all have the same thing as the natural numbers the moment you go to numbers that start with a 1 the interpretation is similar to uh, 1's complement but it's all shifted by 1 right we have shifted all of this up by 1 and the nice thing is that now we have only one zero and this sounds like a, a, a small uh, improvement but it has a big big consequence which is that if I take this number for example minus 3 and I move on this uh, figure for let's say 1, 2, 3, 4 steps ahead I get 2 plus 1 if I go with 5 steps I get 2 uh, plus 2 and that's what you want right minus 3 plus 5 is uh, plus 2. This is in contrast to 1's complement when I could take minus 2 add 5 to it uh, and get to 2 which would have been incorrect right um, and the reason is we had 2 steps with 0. Okay so so this is what 2's complement is you would um, and now immediately understand how to create one's complement of a number so if I give you a number let's say uh, 3 the natural number for 3 is 0 0 1 1 if I want to get the minus 3 uh, one, minus 3 what do you do what do I do I first inverse all the bits I compute the one's complement then I add 1 to it and I get 1 1 0 1 this addition to 1 is equivalent to that rotation that we made on this circular network, right? That's what that is. Okay, so now this should be my minus 3. Let's go and check 1101. 1101 one, um, one corresponds to minus 3 in 2's complement. Okay, so that's that's the first thing you learn here, how to compute minus 3. You just compute, you take 3, you complement, you add 1, you get minus 3. Just like 1's complement and sign magnitude, all the numbers, all the binary numbers that start with a 0 have a positive interpretation. Their, their interpretation is a positive value, 0 to 7. All the... Uh, binary things that start with a 1 they have a negative value right so these ones on this side they all start with a 1 and they all have a negative um, interpretation so you can still look at the most significant bit and tell whether a number is positive or negative the next thing that you probably will notice is that we have up to 7 on the positive side and up to n on the negative side. So we have one more negative number than we have positive numbers because 0 is on the positive side. That's easy enough to understand. So these are some of the properties of 2's complement. Your next slide is just basically reiterating uh, these points. Right, so that's the first point. Um, uh, most significant bit represents the sign. We have only one zero. We have one more negative number than positive numbers. 
And one last thing, which is doing additions and subtractions is very simple now. You can take these two numbers, three and four, and just add it like you would add uh, with longhand addition. Any other numbers, you can take minus three and minus four and add them normally like you would for anything else. You can also do the same thing for a positive and a negative number. So let's take plus three and minus four and add them together. What we should get is the number minus one in two's complement. Um, so we are going to add all of those up. We get this number and this is uh, minus one in two's complement. Why is it minus one? Because uh, if I take uh, a one, uh, which is one zero zero zero. I complement it. I get this. I add one. I get one one one. Right. So this is minus one. Okay. So the addition worked uh, between a two numbers of different sign as well. Just normal longhand addition is luckily working. You could also do minus three plus four just to make sure that it works. Minus three plus uh, four and it will uh, it will give you the number one which is what you want why is addition working again just think about this circle addition is just like going left uh, it's going side clockwise on the on the circle right and and it's all uh, fine you know you go minus five plus uh six you go six steps clockwise, you get to one. You take three minus five, it's just going uh, counter clock, clock five, five steps, you get to minus two. And that's, uh, you know, that's exactly why addition and subtraction just work fine here. We are going to prove mathematically a lot of these properties that I have described in this uh, video sort of casually in the next uh, videos.